Hey guys, it's Kevin. Uh, today we're going to troubleshoot this uh, Epson XP uh, 15000. And uh, the first thing we want to check is the, the those MOSFETs. You can see it's A2222 and uh, C6082. If there's something wrong with it, normally uh, your printer will not start at all. So you, uh, you press the power, but nothing happens. I'll show you a quick and dirty way to uh, test it. So you put uh, two props on the two left legs. You should get uh, about a 56 ohm. And then when you put uh, two right legs, you should have a closed circuit. This is not the best way to test it. Uh, to properly test it, uh, you should uh, take them off the board. Um, but for me, I just quick and dirty uh, check. Probably test it. You can go to bchtechnologies.com and just search for tester. And uh, you can use uh, automatically detect tester, and they can test a whole bunch of stuff. And also, it's uh, self detect. They can detect what kind of component it is, and give you the result. And here, I also if you even if you don't need it, and uh, check out the common apps and markings. And uh, for example, Epson use R as a resistor, and uh, F is fuse, and uh, later on we're going to cover it. If you need A222, uh, the transistor pair, just type in A222, and uh, you can see this is a, a pair of uh, 60A2 and A222 that you can use to replace your, your transistor. Uh, if you, if your motherboard doesn't turn on, also today we're going to use uh, F1 fuse, and uh, we're going to use uh, this small F F1 fuse, and uh, do not buy this big one. This one, this one is for bigger, uh, bigger motherboard such as uh, L1800. And uh, with that knowledge from the website, uh, you know we're looking for something marked with F. Uh, can you see the F? Normally, fuse is near the big uh, uh, printhead cable. We get the F302 here, but it's not mounted. And keep looking, we got this F301. Oh, by the way, the fuse is really small. So I mentioned it in every video. And also, I draw the dimension on the product, on, on the product page. And uh, I even show you how big it is compared to my finger. And uh, please do not complain, okay? Just don't be a JC. Don't watch the video, bought it, and then complain and give us uh, two stars. Uh, if your multimeter doesn't have a beep function, and uh, you can just uh, measure the resistance, and you should have an open circuit. Uh, the, I mean, if it's bad, you should have an open circuit. And we're testing fields here. Uh, however, if you have a beeping function, you can set the multi, uh, multimeter to beep uh, when you have a closed circuit, like here. So uh, it beeps. So now we put on both end of the uh, the fuse, and we can see it's open circuit. And the easiest way to replace this is uh, with a heat gun. Uh, I can do both. I mean, if you're skillful, the solder iron will take like a minute. But heat gun is by far the easiest. And uh, we just put some flux and cook it to 365 to 380 degrees and use a tweezer to remove it. Okay, that's like uh, some people think that's cheating. Okay, uh, let's do the solder iron. The old fashioned way uh, is uh, you put more solder on it. It's kind of in, uh, not intuitive, but uh, your goal is heat heat up the both sides of the uh, of the fuse. So uh, basically, overpower it with uh, uh, with uh, solder, and then you can remove it. Some people do not replace the F1 fuse; they just short the the fuse. Uh, and uh, you may be okay, but uh, keep in mind, your board, uh, next time when your board need to blow the fuse, it cannot. And uh, now, next time, it, will, it probably is going to blow a small transistor. And uh, that will take ages and ages to find what transistor it blows. 
Uh, so I'm, I, I just suggest uh, put a couple bucks and replace the, replace the fuse. Again, the fuse is tiny, it's small, okay? If you don't have the skill, we can do it for you, but they're uh, gonna cost you 50 bucks. Uh, if you have a neighbor that's handy, and uh, you can give your neighbor some favor, like uh, a rotisserie chicken or something, and he probably can do it for you. Okay, and uh, it's all fixed. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally, Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.